Let's look at some slightly more major renovations with the Haunted Mansion. First off, there's a whole new cemetery. For a long time, this was the only stretch of cemetery in the line, with the only particularly special thing about it being Madame Leota's eyes. Well, and the LucasArts slash Sierra style gravestone epitaphs. One night, such a pity, she tripped on her kitty and fell off the cliff with a splat. The good news is, he's dead. The bad news is, he bred. But now they've added a new cemetery, which not only makes the line more fun, but splits the line so that it's slightly shorter for those who don't care about the cemetery. The new stuff contains interactive music, a dead poet who listens to your suggestions, an easy-to-solve riddle, bubbles, lots more adventure game epitaphs, and plenty of homages to the various Imagineers and artists who made the classic ride possible. The downside is, to make room for the new cemetery, they had to remove some trees that previously obscured the show building, so the illusion is no longer as solid as it used to be. Still, it's fun to have things like this in a line to make the weight less unbearable. Oh, and the hitchhiking ghosts have been replaced by new CGI versions. Huh. I really don't know how to think about this. Sure, using CGI on a screen doesn't have the same charm as using animatronics on a conveyor belt behind a two-way mirror, but the method shouldn't matter as much as the result, and this version allows for less uniformity with new gags including ghosts messing with your very head. And yeah, I came down on the CGI Davy Jones and Pirates, but that was because it looked out of place and because I was already ranting about pirates anyway. This doesn't look as out of place, especially in a ride that has things like Madame Leota, but it still doesn't look quite natural to the rest of the mansion. 